What's up, Mitten Squad? My name is Paul, welcome back to another Top 10 video. In this video, I'll be going over 10 things you didn't know about Mario Kart. Number 10. On the Piranha Plant Pipeway track in Mario Kart 7, the clouds are recolored bushes. This is a nod to the original Super Mario Bros, where the bushes and clouds are the same art with different color palettes. Number 9. Going up to the Yoshis that are watching the race in several courses will cause them to make Yoshi noises, but there is a random chance that they might start humming Takata's song. An 18-note melody from composer Kazumi Takata has hit it in almost every game he has ever worked on. Takata also does the voice for Yoshi. Number 8. The serial number 554002MS can be found on crate carousels in Mario Kart 8 track Sunshine Airport. This code actually references the European and Australian release date for Super Mario Sunshine, which was October 4th, 2002. Number 7. In Mario Kart 64, Luigi, Peach, Toad, and Wario's voices were changed in the Western release of the game from those used in the original Japanese version, despite already being in English. It's thought that Nintendo of America felt the original voice clips did not properly represent the characters or were simply too poor quality. However, the original Japanese voices were later used in the first two Mario Party games in the worldwide releases as well as in Mario Kart Super Circuit. Number 6. In Mario Kart 64's early beta stage, the game was known as Super Mario Kart R. Some differences were Kamek was a playable character who would later be replaced with Donkey Kong. Also, there was an option to have a multiplayer screen set horizontally or vertically, but this was later removed in the final version. A number of other small differences were the avatars in the character select screen, the texture of the item boxes, the feather as an item, and other minor graphical details. Number 5. A single unused test course exists in Mario Kart 8. It's a copy of Mario Circuit from the Flower Cup but without music. Additionally, the orange arrow signs are not animated. According to interviews, Mario Circuit was the first track designed for the game, so this is very likely intended for testing. It works the same in battle mode as well. Number 4. The idea for the blue shell came to mind after processing limitations prevented the developers from showing all the characters on screen at the same time. Their solution was to clear an overcrowded track using the blue shell. Number 3. Bowser's shell was originally going to be an item in Mario Kart DS, but it did not make the cut. However, its sprite can still be found within the game's files. Number 2. If Mario Kart DS is played on an original DS console, Mario will say WAHOO on the opening screen, but if played on a DS Lite console or later, Mario will say HERE WE GO instead. Number 1. Instead of using anti-gravity mechanic in Mario Kart 8, the team originally planned to have drills on the carts so the players could travel through the earth. Hideki Kono said the following in an interview regarding this subject. In 7, we had the glider and submersion in water, and so when we were also thinking about new ideas for 8, we had thought, well, since we did that already, why not put drills on the carts and have them go through the earth somehow? Subterranean racing. But we kind of thought that that's not such an interesting idea, and after that, we hit upon the anti-gravity mechanic. Alright, that's gonna do it for this top 10 video about the Mario Kart series. If you enjoyed the video and learned anything, like the video, dislike the video if you didn't learn anything or you just didn't like the video for some reason. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions for any future videos on any game or game character. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.